What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is the second episode of Get Even Let's Play. But first, I have to tell you guys, this video is going to be a little different. I had uh, a little bit of sickness. I was sicky to my tummy. Um, so you'll notice I don't talk as much. It's just because I'm sick. Next episode, I swear the energy, the fire, the fire will come back. So anyways, guys, enjoy the episode. The commentary is going to be a little ee. But be sure to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you don't like it. Let me know. Okay, guys. Mwah. Bye. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're continuing on our Get Even journey. So last episode, a girl blew up from a bomb. She went boom, boom. We had an evil monkey harass us to the point of uh, I could not forgive him. We woke up with the VR headset on our head. And that is where we left off. So we're going to hop back in. Unlike last, uh, last episode, this is blind. That's what I ask. Oh. Your current confusion is a okay. byproduct of your Interesting. Do I have a phone? I, I do, okay. Let's continue. If it helps you focus, See ya, buddy. You may call me Red. You. You gassed me. Yeah, they gassed you. Another place. We already saw all this, man. But now is not the time for questions. Okay. Door opened. Have my gun again. R. Wait. Wait. A gun. gun. My gun. gun. Consider it security, Mr. Black. A token of peace. Oh, thanks, man. How I... can I trust you when you knock me out and put, put this thing on my head? To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. So why we came there? here. And who was the girl? Yeah, who? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. <clears throat> Proceed I have to say what? that I was right Hello? next to the girl when she blew up, so. Huh. Oh, there it is. Look at. So I don't need to hold it up. What is this? A drone? Bug. Oh, it's the headset. Ah, so this Those kind of the same thing I'm wearing. Yeah, so this kind of gives me like my memories back, right? Of course. Oops, wrong button. Okay, okay, now it makes sense. Now it's making sense. This beeping noise is gonna make me want to kill myself though. Oh, there's a dude sleeping there. <laughs> I thought it was a spider. Found. Walt Kaufman, 28. Armed forces. Unit okay. Kaufman. Why are they? Forces. Yeah. What's he doing why here? is he here? Let's check this. Asylum. So we're at some type of asylum. Probably mental health. Yeah. Constant supervision. Definitely not required. So from anxiety disorders and depressive disorders. So he's depressed and has anxiety. <laughs> Submissive by nature. Okay. And crying in a local. Okay. Well, poor guy. He was crying in a local supermarket. Okay. Here's someone else sleeping. No evidence found. Come on now. So this person went missing. Case report in September 2000. Oh, uh, September 2000. Wait, that was. When was that? In 2000. <laughs> so, contact supervision or constant morbid thoughts and suicidal tendencies. Ah, oh, cool. Amnesia. Oh, cool. So this person's like. Either incredibly suicidal, or this person's incredibly, like, murderous. We'll have to see. Let's continue on our journey, though. Keep an eye out for that monkey. Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You got out. How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. Uh. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm a little lost for Where words. Where are we? Please, you've got to help me. The switch there uh, opens this door. You, you have to help me. 
Are you gonna kill me though? Eh, we'll push the switch. Oh. Oh, looks like you got an electrical problem, don't worry. I'll help you out. Oh. Okay. Come back! You have to help me! Ah, I feel like I have to help him. Let's help him. I got you, buddy. Thank you. You won't regret this. You won't regret this at all. Oh, I won't, totally. Your actions will have consequences. Fantastic. This dude's gonna kill me later on, isn't he? Oh, I'm totally gonna regret that. Okay, let's continue forward. There's some green. Heart of darkness. Oh, cool. Great. So everybody in this dies? Is that what I was getting from that? Had like an 80. I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. So I fucked up because I let that guy out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh, cool. I think this is the dude I just helped. Samson? So he's a cult leader. He's gonna show up behind me. You, you, you. Pull out the gun. Pull out the gun. Pull out the gun! Come on, dude. I save his life, or at least I save him from that dungeon. And he's gonna come after me with a gun? Uh, LSD. Okay, so they're testing on people. Whatever, that's locked. Wait. Make sure there's no evidence of my murder. I don't want to go to prison. Awesome. Oh my god. These damn doors. Hello? Monkey? Although your memory has been affected, your twitch response remains intact. Pure you killed that guy hella fast. Fascinating. Thanks, man. What is this? Oh, I have a new text. With runaways. Criminals, ex-military, who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity, but there will be time for questions later, oh. Mr. Black. Please, proceed. Okay, so Samson texts us, I owe you my freedom, I will repay you in kind. I know the way, the passage is open. Didn't I just shoot him in the face? Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. A bomb, a girl. Cole Black was there to save her. Okay, so I can go that way. John Linden. Patient suffers from severe memory loss. Okay. He was found wandering in a hotel. Or in a wood. Locked. Of course it is. Okay. The fl flashlight seems to not work. On the door it works. In this corner it does not. We'll scan this guy. Someone there? Turn on the light. Do I push the button? Let's push the button. Oh, hello there. Yes, I can see that. Let's count together, shall we? One, two. It's a picture of a birthday cake four, with candles. This guy's lost it. Very good. That's it. Take a deep breath. And remember to make a wish first. This guy's lost it, guys. What on earth? And now he's the knocked up. Mr. Black in action. I assure you, he is having a splendid time. 
So they could just electrocute us whenever they want. But he's having a splendid time. Always searching. You truly are the diligent detective, Mr. Black. Hell yeah, dude. An admirable quality that will come in quite useful. As we prepare for our first little trip. The more external stimuli you engage with while wearing the Pandora unit, the more effective your synaptic recall will be. Please, continue. <clears throat> so they want me to remember what happened. Let's go down. Well, fuck you. Oh, man. Roger Howard, counting acts. Okay, so is this the dude that's talking to me? Roger Howard, advanced defense strategy. Is this like a layout? That looks like maybe a layout of the place. That's a gun. Is that my selfie gun? Uh, a soldier. What the hell? Talking about a weapon. Advanced defense strategies. Ah, the Pandora is reacting. Keep your eyes locked. Oh, cool. I'm having a mental breakdown. Great. Oh, great. Very good. Just relax and allow that image to take you back there. You may feel a little disorientated at first, but you will be perfectly safe. The building in the photo is the headquarters for advanced defense strategy. Or ADS. They are, or should I say were, the UK's Case leading weapons manufacturer. They were developing a weapon known as the corner gun, which apparently you remember. And now I've teleported to another dimension. What in the hell? Can I run? Let me run. There we go. What the fuck just happened? Is this real? The answer is slightly more complex than the question, I'm afraid, Mr. Black. It's real enough. For now. Just relax and explore. It's real enough for me to piss okay. my pants. Remember, steal, steal the prototype. The destroy all the data. The corner gun. Highly likely. We believe someone hired you. Text message says Robert. Probably Robert Ramsey. Worked for a rival company, FDG. So one company hired me to steal from another. Don't worry about piecing it all together, Mr. Black. Just relax and... And relax and explore. Yeah, I got it. You think it's... You needn't bother yourself with that now, Mr. Black. We may get there eventually. Okay, so this is not it. What in the hell? So I'm having a flashback to my past. They're trying to help me remember my past. Uh, how do I crouch? Oh no. It's control. Do I have a gun? I hear a weird demon talking to me. This is scary. Okay, let's go up here. What's up here? Okay, nothing. Focus, Mr. Black. You're traveling in circles, and time is limited. I feel like I'm missing something. Such is the nature of memory. The scanner you carry has been designed to stimulate your frontal cortex. In some situations, it may help certain details become clearer. Try it and see. Whoa. What the fuck is that? It's quite simple. We programmed in a simulated projection of your real-life scanner. It will help you make sense of any inconsistencies in your synaptic recall. In your memories. 
Whoa. So okay, so I don't I didn't remember that being there, but this helped me simulate the fact that I did remember it being there and it disappeared. An opportunity to engage your mind at last. Now just shoot your way out of a problem. Careful. Those pipes will burn if you get too close. Burn? I thought this was just a memory. It is. But your brain will give you the sensation of being burned. What affects the mind? Affects the body. Cause and effect. This is crazy. So I need to stop. Okay, hold on. Maybe. So I need to stop this from being on. So that? Yeah. Yeah. I solved it. The puzzle has been solved. See, you're more than capable of figuring it all out. Okay. That was not challenging at all though, so I don't take any pride in solving that. Okay, I can go that way. Okay. What's going on? Something feels off. Yes, you appear to be experiencing a temporal anomaly. You're remembering events in the wrong order. It's just your mind trying to make sense of it all. Perfectly not. What the hell am I seeing? I'm going through the same door. Ah, I'm seeing some weird thing. Stop it. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Is this all your fault? What the? Do you remember how to use the weapon? Not really. Why don't you approach the firing line? Where's the firing line? Press Q to bend it. All coming back to you, I see. Kind of. It will soon enough. How much did you know? How much did you know? How much did you know? Whoa. Crouch and move forward to continue. I am. This is some weird, like, inception level stuff. Wait, huh? Press control to crouch. Look directly up. Bending the corner gun with E allows you to aim. What? What? What did I just do? Was it really you who started all this? Really you who started all this? Damn it. I totally missed. I missed again. No. How much were you responsible for? How much were you responsible for? So the whites. Okay, so. How do I get rid of the corner gun? Okay, hold on. We need to figure this out, boys. Uh, is it E? No, it's not E. Okay, so... When I press Alt... Oh, press Alt. There we go. It said it right on the top. That was cringy. Black, it's an inconsistency. 
Try to use them to your advantage. So killing a... Okay, well... So killing others makes people mad at me. So they want me to kill these guys? Map keeps changing. Die. I really wish I would have snuck through here. Dun 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 No! Ah, I can't focus. Kill him. No. Oh man, the controls. This corner gun is the worst. I really wish I didn't have to use the corner gun. I'd give anything to not have to use the quarter gun anymore. I don't either, Black. Seems off this episode's tripping me out. It feels so real. So do dreams, Mr. Black, until you wake up. That's the best way I can explain. But Pandora is still not fully capable of simulating human behavior. I would advise against creating too much disturbance. Every time you kill someone, you rewrite the memory, which may cause distortion. I agree with you. I want to know what kind of distortion I'm causing. I don't see anything. What are you talking about? Possible security break. So it's control, right? Yeah. Dun -dun -dun -dun. So they don't want me to kill anybody.
They don't want me. Okay, so they don't want me to kill anybody. Okay, I got it. I could have. you are the research labs. I believe that's where you need to go. A warning. You may come across Roger Howard, the CEO. He was personally overseeing the development of the corner gun. The man never sleeps. Although it's late, he may well be around. Oh. Great. We'll see if he's here, though. We'll check it out. Hello, Robert Howard. Okay, guys, you know what? We're going to call the episode here. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Um, again, guys, this episode's a little weird. Um, I'm kind of sick right now, so it kind of sounds like a little funky. Uh, I'm not really much talkative. I'm just kind of sick, but I wanted to record this episode while I had some time. So, anyway, guys, I love you more than anything. I appreciate the support. Be sure if you enjoyed to like, comment, subscribe. Um, next episode, I'll come back with a little more energy just because I won't be sick. But, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Mwah. Bye!